So Focal Point 2 has been out for uh, a bit now and I've been playing through quite a bit and I'm going to go over 10 charts that you should absolutely play in Focal Point 2. How's it going everyone? It's Gator Dude. Hope you're doing well, having a wonderful day. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, before we get into the video, I just want to say I stream at twitch.tv slash Gator Dude. If you want to hop in and talk about Focal Point 2 and let me know what your favorite charts are, uh, feel free to swing by there. I, I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And also before I go down the list, I just want to say that everybody does experience, you know, chart packs differently. Everybody does have different things that stand out to them. I am just going to tell you what stood out to me personally while playing through the, uh, the song pack. Uh, I'm sure everyone else has different songs that really stood out to them and let me know down below you know what stood out to you and a uh, focal point too or what stands out to you by the way I just want to say thank you so much for 300 subscribers on YouTube I appreciate all the uh, amazing support on the channel recently uh, so thank you guys so much I appreciate it I've been enjoying making videos like this and um, I'm glad to see the uh, positive response from everybody so let me know what kind of videos you would also like to see in the future because I might be down for it. But uh, thank you again. The first song on the list for me is Tyranny by Firewind. Uh, it's a live chart, a 2012 chart charted by Jackie. It's a power metal chart. You know, it's pretty catchy in general. It's uh, very full of energy and uh, I always like music that's full of energy. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. Um, it has a very fun, challenging first solo and uh, who doesn't like a good challenging first solo, you know? Uh, any kind of solo that's challenging is a, is a good solo for me, so I'll take that, you know? Uh, but even more fun and challenging second solo, like I had a really hard time trying to one-hand this solo, uh, so I decided to tap it. I decided to tap it. You ever play a solo that's so hard that you literally decide to tap uh, because you can't one-hand it? Yep, this was one of those solos. Just saying, check this one out if you like some fun solos and also live charts because, yeah, this song's pretty great. Uh, moving on, the second song is Riot by uh, Riot. This is charted by Jackie. Uh, also another power metal song. Uh, this song has an extremely catchy riff along with a couple of other fun solos in the song itself. I always like listening to the music itself as I play through uh, brand new packs because it is super fun to listen to new music, especially music that you've never heard before. Um, but the first solo is a very wiggly solo that requires you to move along all along the fretboard. It's incredibly fun, yet incredibly challenging to play. And the second solo is pretty much the exact same solo style, but it's even more challenging than the first solo. So you're having a lot of uh, wiggly moments, a lot of very shreddy moments. It's very, very satisfying to hit. I highly recommend checking this one out as well. Moving along to the third song that really stood out to me was the IRQ Sound 5 by Master Boot Record. This one is charted by Miss Lady. This is a dark wave song. I'm not sure if you guys have heard any dark wave before, but dark wave, this song is insane. It has a very, very catchy song, like from start to finish, has a very good opening riff that starts off with a bang. It features two solos that are both fun, but in very different ways. So not only do you have a very catchy, very cool, unique sounding song, you have some pretty great solos. So the first solo is a really fun challenge when trying to one hand. Uh, it wasn't easy for me to hit at all, but it's just another section that is super rewarding to hit. You guys know those sections that, you know, they're a really big challenge for you, but the first time you actually FC it, you feel like you feel like a king. You feel like you're on top of the world. Yeah, I mean, that's one of these solos. It feels great. Um, I like tapping the section about halfway through this solo. You know, it just adds to the fun for me a lot. So, you know, check this one out. Uh, pretty much this song all the way around. Sounds good. Very fun to play. Make sure to check this one out. All right, so the next song on this list is Demon Lover by Aeon Bridge. This one is charted by Miss Moo. Uh, this song is a metalcore song. It is super fun, has a very catchy verse, very challenging for strumming at a faster speed. Uh, it will definitely be good for challenging yourself if you're looking to level up your strumming. You can play this on normal speed or whatever speed you want. Uh, you can speed it up. You'll get a very good challenge out of this song. This song also features a fun breakdown to play that is also great to strum along to. Uh, so along with the catchy verse, you have a great breakdown. 
Uh, the solo challenges you in both tapping and one-handing, which are my favorite kind of solos. The solos that are really all around, just have it all, give you a good challenge no matter what you're trying to hit. Those are absolutely my favorite solos to hit. It's an incredibly shreddy song. It's full of challenges, but it's very, very fun to play. If you're looking to level up your gameplay and also jam out to some pretty uh, shreddy tunes, check out Demon Lover by Aeon Bridge. All right, the next song on the list is uh, Daddy He Got Us, Cessna, uh, featuring Chris Dial. I think that's uh, how I'm supposed to say it. Uh, it's by the Fearless Flyers. This one is charted by Raspberry. Uh, this song is incredibly funky, but like funky in a good way. You know what I mean? So like, it's not weird, it's just funky. Not only is the entire song super catchy, but it features one of the most fun solos on the pack. The solo in this section is wacky though, like not whack in a bad way once again. Uh, like one second there's a ton of strumming and the next you're one-handing stuff like a mad lad. I love solos like this just for the sporadic randomness that occurs. It, it, I have a lot of fun playing songs like this. It, it's a really good way to challenge yourself um, in, in a way that not all charts can. So I highly recommend checking this one out and you can also get your funk on, you know what I mean? All right, next song is BGM6 by I Shot the Duck Hunt Dog. This one is very interesting sounding and, you know, a very fun chart to play as well. Uh, the genre is Nintendo Core. Uh, it starts off with an incredible intro, very challenging at one handing that leads into a potential tapping area. Uh, gets the chart started off on the right track and gets you right into the zone, ready to hit all the notes in this chart. Um, it does feature a lengthy and fun solo to play. I enjoy this chart because it is highly unique and in sound and in playability. Uh, this is one of the most interesting charts on the pack for me, just because it's Nintendo Core. Like, do you even know what Nintendo Core sounds like? If you don't even know, you need to check out the Nintendo Core song, Shot the Duck Hunt Dog. Yeah. By the way, this song is charted by Miss Moo. I forgot to state that earlier, but yeah, another another banging chart by Miss Moo. All right, next song on the list is The Game featuring Matt Heafy from Trivium. This one is by Dragon Force. Um, it is a power metal chart. It's charted by Jackie and Aaron Eternal. So a little bit of tag team on this chart. Uh, but they did a great job with it. Super, super fun to play. Um, this is featuring Matt Heafy from Trivium, as I mentioned. This is one of my personal favorite bands at the moment. This song is an absolute banger. It has one hell of a catchy chorus. I absolutely love this song. You know, this song starts you out with a fun tapping intro that leads into the opening riffs featuring some open notes. Um, it has one of the most fun Dragon Force solos I have ever played. It features a very fun and tappy solo for the most part, for the most part. The only part that's really not that tappy is the beginning of the second half of the solo. That is a pretty shreddy section, but for the most part, it's pretty tappy and I love it, especially at the end with the triplets that you have to alt tap. I always love finding stuff like that and hitting it sporadically. One of the most fun things to do, honestly. This is easily one of Dragon Force's best songs. I love it. It's a banger. One of these songs, it sounds great. It's very fun to play. Highly recommend checking out this one. All right, so the next song on the list is the Haken Solo Medley by uh, Haken. Yeah, come on. You, you should know that. You should know that. Uh, but what can I say? I love solo medleys. You know, they are among my favorite kind of charts to play in Clone Hero. Haken makes for great charts in general, and when you mash them together into a solo medley, you're bound to just get something good. This chart is absolutely just another one of those charts. This, this chart features solos in many different styles. One thing is consistent though, uh, it is bound to make you shred, you know? You're absolutely going to be shredding your, your ass off while uh, playing this song, uh, so you should absolutely be prepared for that before starting. Uh, this is a great chart for leveling up your one-handing. You're going to be challenged in one-handing in a bunch of different ways, uh, but some of the sections are incredibly rewarding to hit with one hand. 
a lot of these sections will challenge you a lot and when you do hit them you're gonna be like oh my god you're gonna feel like a king but definitely check this one out if you're a solo lover like me this one is full of so many solos and it is an absolute banger also i just wanted to let you know that the haken solo medley is charted by lilith the fox so if you didn't know that shout out to lilith the fox this was an incredible chart now moving on to the next one another chart that really stood out to me is proponent for sentience by alejeon 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 i have no idea what i'm doing what i'm saying but that is that's the name of it okay that's the name of the band uh anyways this one is charted by miscellany this song is very interesting for a number of reasons uh first of all the song is 21 minutes long and it's full of fun sections that'll just make the time fly right by i remember playing this and thinking man you know those 21 minutes sure went by really fast you know as i was finishing the song uh, this is truly an experience that everyone should play at least once. Like, if you're playing through this pack, play through it at least once. It'll be worth your time, I promise. If you play it and you don't enjoy it, just be like, hey, Gator Dude, you totally dropped the ball on that one. Like, I understand, just let me know, okay? I get that some people don't really like long charts, but I do, especially when the chart includes so many fun strumming and shreddy sections. How could you not want to play 21 minutes of that, am I right? I really can't imagine what the members of this band were thinking when they decided to put together this song, but uh, it's actually a banger and it's actually super fun to play. And uh, it's also a good challenge. All right, and the last one on the list for now is Tall Fiddler. It's a live chart by Tommy Emanuel. This one is charted by Jackie. This song is a bluegrass live chart uh, that is really, and I mean really hard to play. Really hard to play. The BPM and the strumming patterns are all over the place with the song. They are all over the place. And that's, that's just because it's the live bluegrass. Like Tommy Emanuel just went off during this live performance apparently. I picked this song because of the sheer challenge that it brings you. I mean, it will test your accuracy and your endurance a bit. You know, and another reason that I picked this song is because it is a song that's going to challenge you in ways that other charts just can't. It's going to just test your reaction and test your strumming. There's a lot of chord strumming and uh, awkward like BPM and patterns, but it's a really good challenge. I highly recommend it. I'm sure you can tell by now that in my run I got completely destroyed by this song. I can't remember the last time that I really struggled with a chart like this one, but this chart really kicked my ass. I guess I have to uh, just hit more notes or something, you know? Now keep in mind, this is only 10 of the charts that are in this massive pack, so I'm probably going to make another video just like this one, but these are 10 charts that have stood out to me so far. Stick around for part two. Make sure if you want to see what part two is like, hit the subscribe button as well. And also pop by at twitch.tv slash gator dude if you do want to see me play through any of the focal point two charts. Uh, but thank you all very much for watching. I certainly do appreciate it. Uh, thank you again for 300 subscribers. You guys are incredible. It's been a blast making these videos. I certainly hope you all have been enjoying them. Let me know what you've been thinking down below and also let me know just what kind of videos you would like to see. Once again, thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. You all have a wonderful day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. You all take care and uh, have a good day. Good night. Like I said, goodbye.